how to install carpet under a pool table. Good morning. Today we are on a job and we are doing a concrete basement floor install with a slate pool table move. This got away a little bit of it'll go into the cold there, underneath the wood there. Rob is a very happy boy today. We've got some uh, normal box stairs there. We'll show you how to do that. Some very old concrete, which is gonna be very, very difficult to pound in the smithage. We got a new carpet that we're using today from Mohawk. Looks pretty, uh, pretty nice, it's just heavy to get in here. We're gonna run a 22 footer in this room. We've got a seam at the door here. We're gonna run 13 foot from here to that wall with a seam in the middle here. We're gonna run a 19 shot, 19 foot straight through to the other wall here. We're gonna move the pool table from one side to the other side. We're gonna install one side to the other side. We're gonna show you how we do that today. So stick around. Okay, so the first step is complete. We've done the entire perimeter in concrete smoothage on the concrete floor. We just moved the pool table. We put a couple of sliders underneath it and moved it to one end. And then what I'll do is I'll make sure I uh, I'll get it on the flip side when we move it back. We didn't move it far. So what we're doing is we've got 11 feet to this corner. I'm gonna put my seam along that tile line there in front of the slider. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that back over the carpet. It was a little difficult to slide on the concrete. Those were, we've got the two small ones on the front and then we've got the long ones on the, on the back. We're gonna pad this up. We're gonna install this 19 footer. We're gonna pull this back over top of the carpet. We're gonna bring it down to this end. And that will create a bubble. A bubble, a bubble, a bubble. That will create a bubble or a buckle. And what we'll do is we'll pull that wall, we'll restretch it, and then we will do our seam. We will do our 13 foot piece. We will stretch it all the way this way. Then we will move the table back into the middle. And then we will restretch this end. And we'll show you the whole process. Rob's gonna uh, pad right now. So this room is 22 feet long. We're gonna run two lengths right through into this cubby. Okay, so we like to tape our seams and not glue it to the uh, concrete. And the reason for not gluing it is so that when the next guy comes in, if they have a flood, if there's any animal urine or anything, that it can be uh, removed fast and easy and nothing stuck to the concrete, leaving like the smell or the residual of like mold and whatever. So we use uh, tuck tape and Rob's gonna show you how we do. pad is done, the smooth edge is done, the tape is complete, nothing stuck to the floor, it's floating around with the vapor barrier on top, and then the red tuck tape acts as a sealant uh, to that vapor barrier. So now we're going to, uh, because we have the pool table in the way, now we're going to roll out the 19 footer, we're going to install the 19 footer, and then we're going to slide the pool table back.
So here's a great little trick. I've got to find out how much carpet I got with this fold back here. And then I've got to get from to that wall. So I've got to get from there, make sure I have enough from the end to this wall. And so how we do that is this. We take our little tape measure. Doesn't matter how far that we stick that under. Really doesn't matter. So we give it a little lift for our foot. I've got that tape measure in about 10 inches just so you can't pull it out. And then we take it the other way, wrap it around, and we come down here and we see how much carbon we got. It says we have 93 inches. So now we go back over here, down to the wall, and see what we need. It says we need 84 inches. So guess what? We got enough carpet. So that's a great little trick to uh, make sure you got enough carpet. Now sure you can do it other ways. You can do it on top like this. You can measure from that end because I know some of you are probably saying, oh, well, you can just measure it on the top. So you measure it to there and you get 80. But what you don't know is if you're really tight is see we had 80. And now we have 80 and a half. Because that roundness, you lose about five inches on the fold. And by going underneath, you get the exact measurement, especially if you're tight. So that's just a little quick tip. So we've got our 19 rolled out here. We've got our measurement. We know that we're good to fold into there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the factory edge here and line it up on this wall. Factory edge is cut off, lined up against the wall. Now remember there's space boards going on there. Now we're gonna make our release cuts and fold it into uh, this little cubby here. Now that we've got it rolled out, we're gonna cut all the excess down and prepare the seam. All the excess has been cut down, lined up against the first wall, ready to stretch, ready to kick. We've gotta prepare our seams and then move the pool table back. So what I've decided is I'm not going to stretch that side right now because we're going to push the pool table back over the carpet. It's definitely going to cause buckles over there. So instead of having to stretch it twice, we'll put the bubbles in the carpet with the pressure of the pool table and then I will stretch that out. We're going to show you how to do that right now. I can control the uh, sliders. Okay, see what you can do. Let's see if you can actually move it first. Hold on one sec, one sec, one sec. I want to come over here. I'm going to lift this up. I want you to split the difference on the uh, slider. So come over here, pull it over that carpet. Okay, just wait until you get it. Yeah. Jesus. While I lift. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Yep. See? Try. Yep. Keep 
keep it coming. Okay, stop there. And now you're gonna go back the other way. Okay, you're not really lifting, you're lifting sliding. Yep. Okay, keep coming. Okay, keep coming. All right, we're on. Then and come back on. So you can move with me. I'm gonna go this way, you're gonna go that way. Three, your grip. Two, one. Yep. Okay, we're on. That's it. It's gonna be easy. You know what? So let's, uh, let's now push this all the way this way so we got room to work for the scene. Let's go. Very nice, keep coming. It's good. It's perfect. Okay. Awesome. Let's get this padded up. So I hope you guys saw that. It's pretty awesome. Got those sliders on that slate pool table and moved it over here. All we did was you have to really watch and we move it side to side so that it doesn't create a massive bubble over this side. Now we haven't stretched this side yet, as you guys can see, but there's really no bubble there because we moved the weight we move the weight side to side on an angle, dissipating that pressure. If we would have went straight on, it would have just like a plow. So yeah, that's how you move a sleep pool table back and forth on the carpet. Okay, as you can see, I've lined it up at the one side where there probably will not be any baseboard. I cut off the factory edge and line it up there. We won't have to cut it, we're just gonna stretch it and tuck it. Now, how are we gonna get this seam cut? Now, what I like to do is, because this room was only 22 feet, there's only a two foot strip coming off there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down to about two inches, I'll show you right now. We cut this down to around two inches, overlap. Like this, all the way down. Now I'm gonna cut all the excess off before I get too far involved on this seam. Now we're going to do the same for the other side. Now here's what I wanted to show you. Now, if you saw in the beginning, the concrete was cracked, it was raised, it was not level. And now we have to do a perfect seam in the middle. It's 22 feet long from end to end. And I straight edged the one side or row found it, which gives us the first side straight. But guaranteed, because we've already kicked it and stretched it on one side because of the pool table, it will not be straight. It, the one side will be straight for the cut, but now we're gonna match the other side. Maybe it's best if I show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the straight edge part and overlap it over the other piece here. Now we have a six foot long straight edge. What I'm gonna do here is trace cut. Now with a good blade, I'm gonna start at the one end. Let's see if I can give you guys a real good view. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut one inch there. Then I'm gonna move six feet down. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. 
I'm gonna move a little farther down and I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna move to the end and I'm gonna do the same thing here. Okay, that was one inch. Now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna fold it back here. We're gonna fold it flat. Now let's find our little cuts here. Now we know that there was one at the end. Right, there's one little cut there. You guys see that? Let's look for another cut. We know we're about, we're not going more than six inches. There's another one of our cuts there. See that little cut there? Let's look for our other cut here. There's our other cut right there. See that there? Little cut there. And then we didn't cut the pile. We just made a little pressure cut through. So there's our other thing there. Now I've developed this method over time just because I had to. So now we're just gonna line up the cuts. And this will ensure that we have a really straight or at least a seam that follows itself on a, on a non a non even floor. Which is right there. Line up our third cut and our fourth cut together. Gonna tape our seam. And now we're gonna fold over that carpet and see how we did. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so the seam is done, and now I'm going to stretch uh, the wall behind me, and then we're going to move the pool table back. Just get back in the middle, so go that way, and then we'll straighten it out. And that should take care of the bubbles. Three, two, one. Now push it towards the TV. Great, right there. Okay, let's uh, take those guys off. Okay, so the pool table with the sliders is back in the middle of the room. We've got the one end stretched there. We've got no bubbles. We're gonna clean up. We're gonna stretch in the sides. We're gonna seam that other room up. And Bob's your uncle. Now we told you at the uh, beginning of this job, when we put in the first piece, the 19 footer on the first side, that we weren't gonna stretch 
this end because we knew the pool table would push it and move it. So we put it back in the middle. We had stretched the back end and we had a pretty good stretch down there before we moved into the middle. Now we're gonna come back and we're just gonna stretch this last side here. So let's do that. All right, so we finished all the steps. We've cut in all the carpet. We put down all the smooth edge. We've done the under pad. We've done the tuck tape to seal on the vapor barrier to the concrete. We've done the seams. We've moved the pool table and we've stretched and cut in the carpet. And here is the finished result. seam has been done underneath the pool table. Got this tucked in nicely to the wood. We've got the seam done here, joining into the other room. Next step is for the uh, customer to put on his baseboards. We've stretched into here. Absolutely no bubbles and no problems. And that's a slate pool table. We're just gonna clean up, get our stuff out of here, and we're out of here. Keith Shannon, thanks for watching.